can tell whether you're to, whether you're becoming a Sufi or not when you no longer are interested in a, a, a big house stuffed with Islamic artifacts and things like this. You're interested in things that are uh, are will endure forever. Everything that is colored with infinity, everything that is colored with greatness in the next life, these are the things that we're keen on. Things that are, you know, like a marble shower. You know, it was fun for about an hour. You know, it's something that we're not really concerned with. You know, it's it's transient, it's evanescent. Okay, so the more and more one's heart becomes uh, attached to Allah, the, the the more paltry and trivial you see. The more you more, and the more and more you see things as they are. So these things will drop away from one automatically. The trinkets don't seem so important. But there is another kind of zuhud that is. Uh, essential for the tariq and it's essential that the tariq that you can make any spiritual progress in the west and this is because of some desires that have been instilled in us that are unnatural and that they're and that they're, we, we're, we're trying to have zuhid for these automatically and you have to make a jihad against your nafs in these and what am I talking about the things that I was talking about to begin with that we live in the age of showbiz and that we've got to unplug. If you want to be Sufis, you've got to unplug from and step back and make an analysis. To what, what I suggested is that you make an analysis. You grab your daily newspaper and you say, well, let's see, I'll, I'll read it just like I always do, and I'll count up the articles, and now and uh, make an analysis for the rest of that week, all of the articles that actually changed something in your behavior for the better. In other words, all of the articles that actually had a real, tangible benefit to you. How many articles, and, and you put to make that a fraction, one, or two, or three, or four, or five, or ten, over the total number of articles that you read in the newspaper. Okay, so you make an analysis. And I think the, the figure will be closer to zero than any other figure. <laughs> okay, so what does it mean? It means that from now on, if you're serious in the tariq, you follow the words of the Prophet, be keen on that which benefits you. In other words, and be not keen on everything else. Okay? So that we have to have. And I suggested to the, myself and to others that we read Four Arguments for the Elimination of Television by Jerry Manders to understand that you're a product yourself. Okay? So stop being a product. You're a consumer of buying power is what's being sought. Okay? Stop being such a thing. Start giving your money in charity. If you give something in charity, that will return. That will return to you for. That will be with you forever. If you spend it on trinkets and junk, and conspicuous consumption and one-upping the Joneses, then that will be lost forever. That will be lost forever. And so it, that, that doesn't make sense. We just try, and the, the tariq consists in putting first things first, doing things that make sense. In the uh, in the context of what of the big picture of the eternal picture of things as they are forever okay so we have to have zuhud in respect to the showbiz okay and to understand what the era of showbiz is read uh, Neil Postman's Amusing Ourselves to Death okay that's a book these books are extremely useful for deprogramming ourselves nothing wrong with reading books and if there's a good intention, if you have an intention to serve the Muslims, read books, all the better. You know, books that are non-fiction books, books that benefit. If they're fiction books, then you should be aiming to train yourself so that you can read English or write English properly to serve the Muslims with it, something like this, or some tangible benefit to it. Okay, entertainment is now over after today. We don't, we don't need it. We're not interested in entertainment. Entertainment is a means to happiness. And there are, other mean, there are other means, and it's not the cause of happiness. It's a cause for a great deal of anxiety and sadness. Okay, what the cause of the real cause of happiness is that Allah creates happiness in people's hearts. Okay, and if this happens, you don't even, you don't have care. You could be sitting in a cardboard house. And if Allah created happiness and contentment in your heart, you would have it. The happiness would be there. Okay, so we should be doing dhikr. Is dhikr is the what what makes tumma'nina. Allah bi dhikr Allahi, tatma'inna al-qulub.
Okay, this is what brings nur, and this is what brings happiness, and this is what brings the high perfections. So this is an aspect of Zohar. Uh Yeah. Uh, can we use the TV to watch things like um, things that are not entertaining, Islamic videos, or news from Islamic countries? Or the short answer? No. Get rid of the television. Get rid of the television entirely. The television itself, okay, why? Read four arguments for the elimination of television. The television as an instrument itself, the television, the kind of light that comes into your eyes when you're watching television has a detrimental effect in itself. The kind of brain waves that happen after you turn on the television obviate learning. Read about them in Jerry Mander's book. The kind of brain waves that switch on after a few minutes of watching t- television make it impossible for you to learn anything. Okay. Read books. Read non-fiction books. If you want to remember the details of them, outline books. That's what serious people do. They grab a book and they make an outline, make a ten-page outline on all the important points of that book. That's what you should be doing as Tariqa people. If you want to find out how the world works so you can be safe from it, that's a noble intention. That's a noble intention. So you can help other people. But find out how it works from books. And uh, magazines that are non-fiction magazines, not, you know, Time and Newsweek have nothing to offer. Okay, they're propaganda. Those are the intel- intelligence agencies of the world use these magazines to shape public opinion. Be aware of how. There are books that will tell you how. You know, there's, there's, it's, it's quite interesting quite interesting.